Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend from Two Master Tools, and today I'm going to show you how to manipulate photos. So what I'm going to do today is I want to take this horse and I want to put him on this cliff, make him look like he's jumping off and there's no turning back. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on this lasso tool. Just highlight your horse. doesn't have to be perfect at all so this is the whole point of it if you would perfectly select the horse then you would have the horse cut off so after you have the horse selected you click on define edge click on the view mode press on white since uh, the horse is black right then click on smart radius on edge detection so sometimes this is a bad idea so you might have to uncheck that so just uh, click on the radius bar and move it down until the, the background is totally removed. On every picture is different, so you're gonna have to eye this out. It goes up all the way till 250. Once it goes up from 100, you have to be careful here because it moves up too much. So don't worry about the coloring of the horse if it changes to white. I'm going to show you how to get the color back. You, you see over here the background is removed. You can see the hair strands over here. So now we just got to work at these little parts here. So now we're at 135. I'm just going to keep on moving it up until I see a bigger difference. Maybe it's because I have smart radius on. Smart radius just um doesn't work so good sometimes. So it could be a good idea to just leave it unchecked. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move it all the way to 250, and then you see that the color is a little off, not a little, a lot. So what you want to do is on on this tab, adjust edge. You want to click on the contrast and just scroll it down until you get the color of the horse back to normal. It's too much. And then let's say you want some of these hair strands on, right? And the computer erases, so you just want to put some highlight the parts of the hair strands, and it's going to make the hair stick out a little more. Basically, telling the computer, hey, don't erase those hair strands, bitch. <laughs> Sorry for the language. Okay, so after you're done with that on this on the output channel, you want to select new layer with layer mask. So basically it's going to give you the horse only on the new layer. That's what you need. So just give it time to process. We're going to see our horse isolated from the background like this on a transparent background. So I'm just going to take the horse and I'm going to move him onto this background now. As you see the horse is too big so I'll just press control T and it's gonna and it's gonna show these boxes and I'm just gonna make the horse smaller just wanna make it look realistic horse is not gonna be bigger than a tree so I gotta work that out right now so don't worry about the legs that are cut off this is all about photo manipulation, so we're going to manipulate the shit out of it. So now I'm going to need this horse facing the other way, because he's going to have to look like he's jumping off. So I'm just going to take it from one side and pull him to the other. So don't worry if the horse looks a little shitty right now. Once you click apply and you're satisfied with the way it's standing, all the pixels are going to come back basically. I'm going to show you an example in a moment. When you click here, it says apply transformation. Now look how how much crispier it looks. Well, yeah. Well, the hair looks messed up. So basically, I want him look like he's jumping off from here. Actually, I made a little mistake. I want him look a little higher. 
<laughs> okay, so now the, the legs are missing. So what we're gonna do now is uh, to apply a transformation first. So now we're gonna have to double click on the background to unlock it. Then what I'm gonna do is I wanna take this bush over here and put it in front of his legs, make him look like he's stomping on the bush. That's why you can't see his legs basically. That's how I, I wanna make it look like. So I'm just gonna take this lasso tool and I'm gonna make a circle where the bush is gonna start and end basically in a circle. It's gonna start from here and then go up to here. So I'm just gonna click on this uh on the patch tool. You're gonna right click on this icon, click patch tool. Just wanna click on this highlighted area and move it over to the bush. And it's gonna generate you a bush. Okay, didn't come out so good, so I'm going to make another one, this time from here to here. I could have done it with the patch tool, same thing, but, so okay here I have my bush now, looks like the horse is stepping on the bush, that's why you can't see his feet. This is all about photo manipulation, or however the hell you want to call it. So one thing is not erased from here is this little box. So I'm going to click on the horse layer, because that's where I want to erase it from. And I'm just going to highlight the squares. I'm just going to erase them. So now I have myself a horse that's jumping off a cliff. That's all about photo manipulation. Okay, yeah, I know people. I can't pronounce that word good. <laughs> Alright, so just tell me what you guys think. If you have any questions, please let me know. Nice little horsey, right? Okay, the legs is a little bad. You could work on them a little bit, like move them back, and then erase like some parts of his leg, make it look like it's stepping into the bush, you know. Get creative, people. This is what Photoshop is all about. So thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and rate.